father vanished and turned up dead in the James River. 11 years later, no one has ever been arrested in the murder of Jamie Richardson, but the Greene County Sheriff says that day is coming. Here's Elizabeth Van Mitri with tonight's Ozark Unsolved. Oh my, oh my word. Yes, he was so, he was so funny and, and just pulling pranks to make you laugh. A photograph, a pause button on a moment of time. For James, Jamie Richardson's family photos are all they have left. Oh, my little boy. He was so sweet. Forever 27 years old for his parents and for his children, Elizabeth and Jake. And where do you keep this picture? On the side of my bed. Yep. Those who've lived in Springfield for a while may remember this 2014 video. Elizabeth asking for answers after her father's death, March 10th, 2012. It's been 11 years since his body was found. She's now a mother about to get married. He'll never get to walk down the aisle with her. Never. And she's not going to let anyone else walk her down that aisle. His mother saw him less than two weeks before his body was found. He hugged and kissed me and told me he loved me. That was the last time she saw her son. She didn't hear from him for a few days, which was not unusual. At 12.05 a.m., a week after she saw Jamie, there was a knock on the door. It was detectives with the Greene County Sheriff's Office. The detectives um, said that they were there investigating a homicide, a homicide, which was believed to be Jamie Richardson. Sheriff Jim Arnott has worked on this case since 2012. Richardson's body was discovered after a call about a body floating in the waterway at Crichton Park. You know, we responded. There was, uh, in fact, a body wrapped up. Richardson's sister would identify the body as Jamie. Oh, I, 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 words can't even describe how you feel at that moment. Immediately, we knew that it was a violent uh, type of crime that was committed. There was, there was trauma, and uh, so we immediately knew that we had a homicide. They collected 630 pieces of evidence for this case during the investigation. Several at the scene where Richardson's body was found and others after. There have been 22 search warrants in this case with 56 pieces of DNA evidence found and more than 200 people interviewed. Details of the evidence are being kept close, even 11 years later. There are certain things that we know that the general public doesn't know and even the family may not know. And those things we try to hold close to us because when we talk to people, if they give us some information that nobody else knows, we'll know that we've got the right information. The case has taken detectives to three different states. The day we interviewed the sheriff, they were heading to a fourth. Oh, we were out of, uh, out of state today on a, a lead on this case. 11 years later, the family is still holding out hope that an arrest will be made. Just have no closure. There'll never be closure, but at least there will be a piece that you know, justice has come for the kids, especially. Arnott believes justice will soon be served. We've got uh, good information, but we need to tie a few things up in order to get the, uh, the information we need to present a case uh, so we can get either an indictment or an arrest warrant. He believes he knows who did it. It was just like on the edge of just, we need another statement, we need uh, maybe another uh, even circumstantial evidence to tie in uh, to the evidence that we already have. We plead with you to get it solved, to help us. We need everyone's help. For Ozarks Unsolved, I'm Elizabeth Van Mitri.